So when you have a great director, Matt Damon and Christian Bale, all in one film, you're probably going to have a great time. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Ford v. Ferrari. I really do appreciate it. And if this is your first time finding me and you want more movie reviews, trailer reactions, me responding to entertainment news or just anything I think is cool, please right now click on that subscribe button and also the bell so you can be notified when I make uploads and you will be on your way. Ford v. Ferrari is a film that popped on my radar as soon as that trailer dropped. I thought to myself, wow, this looks great. I cannot wait to see it. Now, this film is being directed by Mr. James Mangold. And while I have not seen all of his films, I can say with confidence that I do have a large amount of respect for the man. I think he's a talented director. He did Walk the Line, which is a very popular film. And I actually haven't seen that, but heard that it was good. He also did Identity, and I haven't seen that. However, he did direct The Wolverine which I have right here. And this is actually not the theatrical version. This is the Unleashed Extended Edition right here. And I really do enjoy it. This holds up to me. A lot of people really didn't care about this film, but I thought it was great. The actual Unleashed Extended Edition. Because the theatrical version of this film right here, they bossed the ninja scene. They took a lot of action out. And there really just wasn't any blood. And when you have Wolverine stabbing people with animanium claws, you gotta have some type of blood. So the Extended Edition that's Unleashed does have that but mr james mango is also the director of logan which came out right here i believe this is 2017 got my copy on 4k blu-ray right there i mean this movie right here is uh possibly in my top 10 best comic book films of all time i mean this thing is just freaking flawless i love it to death so when i found out that he was behind this v this excuse me this ford v ferrari i got really really excited and knew that it would be a great time at the theater but what is this film about exactly well it is based on a true story so american car designer carl shelby and driver kim miles battle corporate interference the laws of physics and their own personal demons to build a revolutionary race car for the ford and challenge ferrari at the 24 hours of le mans in 1966 and just a little bit more about carl shelby Carl Shelby was an American automotive design racing driver and entrepreneur. Shelby is best known for his involvement with the AC Cobra and Mustang, later known as Shelby Mustangs, for Ford Motor Company, which he modified during the late 1960s and early 2000s, played by Mr. Matt Damon. Mr. Ken Miles, Kenneth Henry Miles, was an English sports car racing engineer and driver best known for his motorsport career in the U.S. and with American teams on the international scene, played by Mr. Christian Bale. Now, guys... I don't want to waste your time. I'll just go ahead and say this right now. I thought this film was absolutely fantastic. I mean, I loved it. I'll go ahead and say this right now. It is one of my favorite films of 2019. It is one of the best films of 2019 easily. And that's just off the top of my head right now. Some of my favorite films are for V Ferrari and Dolomite is my name with Eddie Murphy. But I mean, other than just one teeny bitty scene, which I'll talk about later. I thought this film was absolutely flawless. There was just so much that I learned about this film. So much that I appreciate in this film. I mean, I just have a love for cars and that's just something that I've never felt before. You know, I'm just not a car guy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, of course, I know where to put the gas. I know how to change the oil or change the wiper blades on my car or change the tire or something like that. And when I had my O3 Camry, which I don't have anymore, yeah, my starter broke down one time and I was able to change it. But as far as that's concerned, that is all the car knowledge that I have. When it comes to race cars and things of that nature and just all the mechanics of the car, I'm not talking down of it. It's just not my cup of tea. But after seeing this film right here, I really do have a new appreciation for all the mechanics that goes behind the car. I do have a new respect for race car drivers and NASCAR and all that good stuff. I just think it's cool. I may even tune in. Not saying that I'll necessarily go to a track, but this film was very enlightening to me. And that's just because it's just great across the board with great direction, great acting, great storytelling, great everything. But let's just be a little bit more specific. What did I like about this film the most? I got to give it to Christian Bale and his performance. Now, Matt Damon did do great 
great too and i'm gonna talk about that but my goodness gracious christian bell he you know everybody he can, the dude can act and just off the top of my head this is possibly one of the better films that i've seen him in as he's filling the shoes of mr kenneth henry miles i mean my goodness gracious i mean this dude ate this role up for breakfast and just killed it real talk and i just have so much respect for him because uh, a previous film that he was in uh about a year ago it came out around this time about a year ago and it's killing me right now i have to look it up actually while i am shooting this uh video right now for vice okay he was playing dick cheney i just couldn't think about that you know he was just so dedicated to this role that you know when i was doing research it was reported that he actually lost 70 pounds just for this role and the way he did it was and this is coming from matt damon that he just didn't eat and i was saying to myself okay wow i kind of wonder what workout program regiment that you know he was on during filming for this movie because he did look small but i mean he didn't look bad or anything like that but the guy was great he had great charisma you know he he goes against the grain and i mean he's filling the roles of a true life man that is not here anymore but my goodness gracious if he left a great legacy and i just got to give it to you christian bell you did a great job there sir but let's not forget about mr matt damon because you know he did a great job too there was this one scene where he was going back and forth with Henry Fourth the second and it was just like you know a boxing match of dialogue in a respective sense and I liked it I was like oh, okay I see Mr. Matt Damon putting your foot down trying to let somebody know who's boss and that you're not going to get ran over and that you're like hey I'm a professional in this field and if you want to win this 24 hour Le Mans race in 1966 you better listen to me because I know what I'm talking about I don't talk about stuff that I don't know but the stuff I talk about I know and you're going to be foolish if you don't listen to me and when he was just delivering these lines throughout the movie, everybody in the audience was applauding like, yeah, woo, clapping. And, I, and I'm, I, I didn't do all of that myself, but I was smiling at least. And I didn't I wasn't bothered about everybody. It was just great energy in the theater, in the auditorium that everybody was going through with all these performances as well. Now, the gentleman that played Henry Ford the second, I'm not too familiar with him, but I have seen him in past films and entertainment before. Mr. Tracy Letts, he filled the roles of Henry uh, Ford the second and i think he did a great job too i mean i don't know much i mean other than henry ford making for a car manufacturer and all that you know i haven't met read his biography or you know read a book or documentary or anything like that but the way he fulfilled this role too i just thought he did a great job and it was just a great cast across the board you know we also have uh what is his name josh lucas in here and john berenthal who was recently in the punisher and a ton of other stuff you guys know them as well and they did a great job one takeaway i I will say is that while i was enjoying john bernthal's performance in this true story he kind of took a back seat in the latter half of the movie i mean it didn't take anything away from the film necessarily and i know i just said that but just kind of thinking to myself i'm like okay you know what happened to john bernthal i was liking his performance i wish i would have seen you know a little bit more uh from this character but you know hey it is what it is but then again you have the racing and director james mango really does know how to put you in the driver's seat as an audience member to experience just exactly what the drivers are going through and like i kind of say this a lot but that is just something that i've never experienced before i like it and then with the great storytelling and directing when you have key moments where you have that perfect line of narration just to enhance the scene just to make it pop just that much more it just delivers just a great film for you and you're just going to enjoy yourself now the length of this film comes in at about two hours and 32 minutes but don't worry it flies by it, you're there's really you're you're never bored you're always entertained with great race car driving seeing how they're building the car from scratch and you know they're going for it right here i mean ferrari has won the you know the italian car company has won the le mans in the past five years and you know there was some i don't want to spoil it for you here but this is like look y'all afford you make a lot of cars but you can't mess with ferrari and that is the gist of the film but everybody in this film is dedicated to beat ferrari and i'm not going to tell you why there was beefing or anything like that there you know you had your politics and plays here and there and your pissing matches and things of that nature but the objective of this movie was just to get it done and all the characters in this film just got it done and i don't know i just absolutely loved it now this film is also very funny uh without being you know I mean, it has funny moments but it's not making jokes and that's something that i always talk about especially in the marvel cinematic universe but i don't want to digress too much but you know when there is a serious scene and things are going down you really you know 
I don't want jokes. I want things to be taken seriously. And they do in this film. And I still like the funny moments because they were well timed. They felt organic. They didn't feel like it was forced or anything like that. So that's just another thing that I really do, you know, like about the film. And just as a whole, this film, you know, brought out interest in the drilling in that was in me that I had no idea that I possessed. And, you know, that's just another reason why I like this film. Like I said, the performances across the board was great. I mean, everything was great in this movie. And also just one more thing that I want to mention that I just have to give respect to is that is the directing with mr james mango because when they were trying to film the racetrack to make it to be realistic from 1996 they had to film in five different locations i cannot imagine how difficult that is when you're trying to keep up with all the continuity you have the weather all has to be the same and cars have to be you know in certain spots and you know if you miss something here and there when you're in post-production you're just gonna have to go with that it's kind of hard to get a whole crew back okay hey let's set up the whole scene again and redo these shots or whatever and that was just seamless for me when i was reading and they're trying to do just a little bit of research of the film i was shocked by that and so i just got to give it to J mr james bango and everybody involved in this now the only thing that i did not like in this film was uh christian bale of course his character is ken miles his wife uh her name is katrina boff um her name was molly in this now they had a piece of dialogue early on in the film where they was kind of going back and forth in a car i thought at this time she kind of went batshit crazy and the acting wasn't that good where i sat back on my seat like okay what you tripping on lady i don't understand and your acting is just not the best in this 30 seconds but again the film comes in at two hours and 32 minutes and so you know 30 seconds is not that big a deal but guys i love this film i think you will too it's fantastic so if i had to rate four v ferrari out of a one out of ten i'm gonna give this thing a 9.5 out of 10 yes a 9.5 out of 10 go ahead and buy your tickets now reserve it because you will not be disappointed but guys that is just my opinion what did you think about the movie or have you seen it yet or do you want to see it what did you think about my review also i want to know down in the comment section what is your favorite car movie or race car movie please let me know down below let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing if you like this video please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also go ahead and hit that subscribe button i'm coming up on 14 15 000 subscribers so thank you guys and let's go ahead and get over to 20 000. also look me up on social media facebook instagram and twitter it's right there on your screen you got it in the pinned comments and it's also in the description box you have no excuse follow me on facebook instagram and twitter now nah, but guys i just want to thank you so much again for tuning in and before you go don't forget that my name is brandon keith avery and that's just my opinion peace